afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here today to review the SPY. Why? Because finally, after one solid week of drift off, the market looks normal again, strong, powerful, fabulous, and let's just go over it. So it was a week ago Friday, this past Friday. No, it was Thursday. Thursday, but then the gap down happened on the Friday. So it was the 28th. So for one solid week, we really couldn't get going anywhere higher. We actually had kind of a bearish week in the market, but looking overall, the uh, total uptrend held. Market was still strong. I thought it was very unusual. We could never get going anywhere higher, but every day we were gapping down here, 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 and even here we had a red day, we were holding. So even though there was some red in the market and the gap downs and some red in the live day, and it looked bearish, we weren't really dropping. We weren't really going anywhere. We didn't have what I would call momentum to the downside. We would just get up, see a small gap down, it wouldn't follow through, and then we get bought into the close. And it's kind of really what happened. And then we gapped down again Friday morning. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And then I thought, fine, whatever. But we rallied. So I felt that we would hold one of these days in here. Obviously, I thought it would hold sooner than it did, but we did finally hold Friday. We should get up t tomorrow morning on Monday, and we should have a nice follow through this week. But this is one of the things that people find very tricky about the market. Because a look at this will say, oh, this is a triple, double, quadruple top in the market here. This is it. We made a series of lower highs. We didn't go over the number. We didn't get over 211. We're not going to go higher now. We gapped down in the last week a couple of times. No, we're still holding the overall uptrend. Market is still higher. You don't read trends based on lower highs and lower lows and pivots. Okay. One of the reasons that I've done so well in predicting the outcome of stocks in the market on a daily basis is because of the fact I'm reading the gaps. The gaps are what tell you what an institutional money is doing, and that's what moves the market. So I did a really great job of reading this market, seeing that we really weren't breaking and we weren't going to break. And I read this trading action each day as bullish on the intraday because, really, we could have very well fallen off a planet. We really could have fallen and should have if we were bearish all the way down here in the, in the span of a week. We didn't get anywhere near here. And we rallied, you know, on Friday. So what I'm trying to say is that buying supported the market. Institutional money supported the market. Or we would have been broken, broken days before, you know, days ago. So still very strong. I'm very good at reading institutional money in gaps. That's what helps me predict what a stock is going to do in the live day or the overall market, which in this case is the SPY ETF. The SPY is higher. The SPY is probably going to make a brand new all-time high this month in May. Normally people say sell in May and go away. I don't see that transpiring this month. I don't see that at all. Monday is May 9th. We have three more weeks left in the month, and we are going to head back up on over this area. I think this is the last of it, the last of any of this. I don't think we come down here at all. Not that if we do, it means that we're going to fall. But I don't think we do now, okay, because of the way that we were gapping down and holding all in the last week. So we'll see what the market does tomorrow, but look for follow through higher this week in the market and to get it back up on here and then finally get over this area. And that's exactly what I think we're going to do. Finally show some signs of strength in this with some good follow through that lasts, okay, which would be over the high. Have a great day, everyone. Email me if you want to learn how to trade. If you want to learn how to predict stocks in the market and what stocks can do so that you can profit with it and, and the market too. So you can make money in long-term trains and the day trading, which is what I like to focus on. The next class is May 14th and 15th next weekend. Email me at melissa at if you want more information. Have a great day, everyone.